20, 30, 20, retard, retard, retard. An MCDU, Multipurpose Control and Display Units, it is a part of the FMGC, Flight Management Guidance System, and it is used to say what we want the plane to do automatically, for example, to perform a standard instrumental departure or a mix approach. In this video, I will try to show you the basics of how to program it. The first thing we must do is to check if the database is not out of order. For checking that, we have to press the button data and then aircraft status. And we will have in the screen until when it's valid. Once we have made sure that our database is current, we start to insert the first details to perform a flight. We pressed in it and then we type where we are taking off and our landing airdrome. In this case, from Palma to Barcelona. And then press our first right button. We must fill all the orange squares and press the button next to them. Our alternate today will be rails. Actually, I have written a really good article about flight planning, which is talking about how to decide a good alternate. I will put it in the description of the video just in the case you want to learn more about it. Our flight number today will be Flight Academy 2525. And our cost index will be 20, for example. In other video, we will explain how how it works, the cost index, and what actually is. As you can see, all the modified fields are written in blue and in capital letters. This is so important. Once we have finished with the screen in it, we press the red arrow and fill the screen in it B. And now we have to fill all the orange squares. You might wonder, where to find these details? The answer is easy. All these details are in the load sheet. In the load sheet, we can find the zero fuel CG and zero fuel weight and the, the block fuel. And also our takeoff weight Tango Oscar Whiskey and the landing weight Lima Whiskey. Both must be within the limits of the plane. In the part of trip wind, we have to type the average wind in our route. This data we can find it in the fly plan. And remember, if you type plus means headwind, and if you type a minus, it's tailwind. In the left side of the screen, we can find the fuel predictions. Then we'll change when we modify the route. It is important to compare the trip fuel of the MCDU with the trip fuel that we can find in the flight plan. If they are not the same, we have made a mistake program the route. But how we program the route? First, we have to press the bottom fly plan. Then, we have to press the first button of our left and choose the runway we are departing. Afterwards, we have to find our SID Sport 2 Alpha and then press Insert. Notice that in the right hand side we have selected plan in our navigation display because by the time we are programming the route, we can check in it. So far, we have the SID, but we need the rest of the route. For completing it, we must press the button next to the last point of our SID. It is called lateral revision. In this screen, we have some functions that we will explain in other videos. But now, we have to press airways to insert our way. This info, we can find it in a fly plan. Of course, if you want to know more about it, 
you can read my article which is called which is the best way to reach the destination i will leave it in the description of the video now the aircraft already knows where to go but it still doesn't know which arrival must follow for selecting an arrival we select the key next to the landing airdrome then we press arrival and select an star this info is in our flight plan but it is for the planning stage of the flight in the 80s we can get the runway and the ATC air traffic controller will clear us for a specific uh, star today our star will be Nepal 1 Whiskey and our transition will be Rulos 1 Whiskey. After selecting a star or a SAG or a route, it's very important to check it just to, to know if we have done it properly. For checking it, it's important to put the navigation display on the plan and then press the up arrow and scroll and see how it looks like the route. Next step is to press the key RATNAV and then we will see the page of RATNAV radio navigation which includes the selection of two BORs with its course ILS frequency and one ADF. Just remember all what is in blue is possible to change it or modify it. I'm going to explain the key for prediction. We will show as its name says field predictions. It's useful, for example, when we join a holding. Now is the turn of the secondary flight plan. This part has the same functions as the primary flight plan. It is used as a backup to program another approach or an engine out SID. This one is an example of engine out SID, which consists on a runway heading. Backax is in the runway heading. And then a discontinuity that makes the plane to revert to heading mode. Then we do a lateral revision and press the key next to the new destination. And we select the airport that we have departed from. Be aware, we can land in the chosen airport. Afterwards, we must select our arrival. And as well as we did with our route, now we have to check if our return to the field is the correct one. So we select the plan on the navigation display and we check that everything is fine. Once we finish with the secondary flight plan, it is time to start with the performance screen. So we press the performance key and calculate the takeoff speeds and the flex takeoff. All this info is in the performance charts. If you want to know more about it, you can read the articles of flightacademy.info in the performance section. It will be written in the description of the video. The trim, which is the THS, we can find it in the load sheet. In the bottom, at the left corner of the MCDU, you can find a letters THRRED, which means Struts Reduction Altitude. It is the altitude which we will receive an indication to reduce the thrust. Next to it, there is an ACC, which is the acceleration altitude. It's the altitude which the climb phase is triggered. So, in this part of the flight, we will try to increase our speed to select flag zero and reach our climbing speed. Next to them, there is ANGOUTACC. It is the engine out acceleration. It's the same concept as before, but just with one engine. For finishing the MCDU preparation before takeoff, we will explain the key progress. There, we can find our selected cruise level, the optimum and the maximum flight level that we can reach. 
The standard it, we have the predictive GPS, which shows the straight distance to the point we have selected and the bearing to go to it. Under it, we have a message, GPS primary, which means that the accuracy for our navigation is good enough. That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And since now you know how to program an MCDU of an Airbus 320, we are in YouTube, Facebook, or even in our webpage, flightacademy.info. Enjoy your flights and follow us.